Hi everyone, I'm Maliha, a machine learning engineer working with large language models for an AI-based startup. With the unprecedented rise in artificial intelligence, knowledge in AI and machine learning is now more valuable than ever. In fact, AI engineer jobs have been predicted to increase by 23% by the year 2032 with an average salary of $120,000. With that being said, here are five easy steps you can take in order to master AI and build a career in machine learning. Step number one, learning a programming language, more specifically learning Python. As you know, Python is by far one of the most widely used languages for machine learning tasks. But the good news is Python is also one of the easiest languages to learn. If I were a beginner, I would start by understanding how to write a conditional statement for loops and of course functions. I would also look into some of the commonly used data structure in the field of machine learning, such as arrays, list, dictionary, and hash map. Of course, there are plenty of free courses online that you can take in order to study Python. However, I would highly recommend that you actually code what you are learning in order to get a good grasp of Python as a programming language. To do that, you can go to this website called learnpython.org and this website is amazing because it not only teaches you a concept in Python, but also it gives you an exercise that you have to solve by implementing the concept that you just learned. In this way, in no time, you can understand the basics of Python and move on to step number two. So step number two is brushing up on maths. Now, before you get disheartened and click out of this video, let me tell you that you do not need to be a master in mathematics in order to understand machine learning. In fact, a lot of the Python libraries already handle all the ugly maths behind machine learning. However, it is important to note that machine learning is based on basic concepts of linear algebra, calculus, probability, and statistics. So if you have a basic understanding of topics like vectors, matrices, derivatives, and distributions, you can easily absorb all the machine learning concepts. For a quick refresher on this topic, you can look into YouTube videos, the Mathematics for Machine Learning Specialization course, or the Maths course that are available at Khan Academy. All these resources I just mentioned would be linked in the description down below for your convenience. Now we move on to the most anticipated step, which is step number three, learn machine learning. And you can learn machine learning either by taking a course, reading blogs, or even reading a few books here and there. I personally would recommend taking the machine learning specialization course by Andrew Eng, who is one of the pioneers of AI and machine learning. This course actually has three modules, the first one being supervised machine learning, the second one being advanced algorithms, and the third one being unsupervised machine learning. But more importantly, this course actually has a bunch of hands-on exercises that teaches you how to build machine learning models using the Jupyter Notebook and also a bunch of essential Python libraries like scikit-learn, NumPy, TensorFlow, and of course, the Hugging Face library. If taking courses is not your style, you can also read a bunch of different beginner-friendly blogs on machine learning like Machine Learning Mastery or books like the 100-page machine learning book. A quick disclaimer here is that a lot of people often get stuck in this step and they keep taking courses after courses and spend months and months trying to learn different types of concepts. I personally would recommend taking one or two courses to get a basic understanding of the different concepts in machine learning and then move on to the next crucial step. Step number four is to work on machine learning projects. This by far is the best way to master machine learning by implementing the concepts that you have been learning so far. Start by following along the tutorials for a few basic machine learning projects. So this can be something along the lines of analyzing the sentiment of movie reviews to classifying images of animals or even predicting the price of houses. You can find this example project on websites like Kaggle or even blogs like Medium, Towards Data Science, and Analytics Vidya. But whatever project you do, make sure that the project includes at least three separate steps. The first one being data processing, where you clean and visualize the data that you are going to be working with. The second step is 
model training where you build a machine learning model and train your model on the training data set. And the third step is model testing where you test the performance of your trained model on a test data set and make improvements. While working on such machine learning projects, try to understand the thought process of how the problem was conceptualized and why you are using certain types of machine learning techniques to tackle that problem. But now, if you want to build a career in machine learning and artificial intelligence, the last and final step is for you. Step number five is building a portfolio. Now, the best way to showcase your skills in machine learning and artificial intelligence to a recruiter is by showcasing all the machine learning projects that you have worked on. And the best platform to do that is, of course, GitHub. GitHub is a platform that allows developers to create, store, and manage their code. For each machine learning project that you work on, make sure you upload that on Git. But don't just upload the data set and your code file. Make sure to also include a readme file where you mention what the problem is, what are the techniques you're using to solve it, and also what were the results that you obtained through your machine learning tactics. During this stage of your journey, if you want, you can also try to specialize in one or two machine learning domains that you have interest in. So this can be anything from deep learning, to computer vision, to even natural language processing, which I have specialized in. I will be linking down a few courses for each of these specializations in the description down as well for your convenience. And last but not the least, here is one secret sauce I want to share with all of you if you want to take your portfolio to a whole different level. So instead of just learning how to build a machine learning model, one thing that a lot of companies and recruiters actually look for are people who can also so deploy a machine learning model. Now, what does deploying a machine learning model mean? In short, model deployment refers to making your machine learning model accessible to different types of clients through the use of an API. In order to gain more experience in model deployment, make sure to look into what Docker is and also different types of hosting platforms like AWS or Azure. In fact, there are a lot of beginner friendly projects on model building and model deployment on Kaggle and I'll link some of them down in the description. And that's it. In just five simple steps, you can become an AI master and build a career in machine learning in 2024. As always, if you found this video helpful in any way, make sure to share, comment, and like this video and also subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot and motivates me to make new videos like this every day. If you want me to cover any other topics, either about building a career in tech or doing higher studies abroad, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.